worry. I'm a friend. Don't you recognize me? I am Fiora, the great-granddaughter of the wizard Maron. Fiora! Little Braveheart. You're a big girl now. Yeah, and my troubles are big as well. You see, I did not know whom to turn to, so I have studied the records of my great-grandfather and found out how to call you. And what about Marin himself? Did you do this in secret? Maron was taken captive by a witch, Cassandra. Now she calls the shots in the Lost Lands, and those are her arachnoids snooping around and searching for undesirables. Do you want me to help Marin to escape? Not really. Before his disappearance, Great Grandfather spent a lot of time in his secret laboratory. It is for sure somewhere in a local forest, though I've never been inside. I learned from him that he was working on some powerful weapon against Cassandra. We have to get there and find out. Susan, escape from the town. Find a laboratory in the old cemetery in the forest. Uh, no, hold on. I'll come up with something. to leave. Just do not go back. They're looking for you there. We'll escape through the upper door. Entrance to the underground is under one of the gravestones.
laboratory. We need to study everything here and find out what he was working on before Cassandra captivated. Save us, Mount Gore. She's awake. Cassandra got out of the crypt. Now she snoops around the lost lands, finds the strongest men, and turns them into arachnoids. Others are being enslaved or killed. It's my fault. If I had obeyed her orders, nothing would have happened. There is still hope, even if times are hard. I am currently working on a device that will let me go back in time and fix everything. I call it Time Hexagon. Time Hexagon? That's interesting. So, I need to go almost five centuries ago, namely in the year 3088, from the creation of the Tarsus on August 23rd, 20 minutes after midnight. The Hexagon operates from ancestor ashes that can be found at any cemetery. Just the usual corpse ashes, taken not from an animal, but from a rational being. The time slip must be performed within the cemetery, this place has been chosen for a good reason. This is the very place where everything has happened. And in no case can you make a time slip while in the laboratory. In the past, the symmetry already existed, but the laboratory did not. You can easily get stuck in the ground and never get back. It's good you warned. I keep the hexagon in the workshop. Just in case, here is the password to open the door. Incredible. Great-grandfather wanted to go back in time. I wonder what happened there. I must find it out. I'll go back to the past instead of Marin. Well, maybe you're right. Then I'll stay here and try to study all other materials. I must find the time hexagon.
already in the past? It's not quite clear yet. The landscape is different, though. I need to figure it out. Always been my most faithful and best student. Cassandra, thank you for all the knowledge you shared with me. Cassandra? Forgive me for asking you to do this, but please understand that this is for the best. Goodbye, Marin. Goodbye. Marin? This won't hurt a bit. Who is Marin talking to? I need to listen closely. Marin, be sure that this potion will cast Cassandra into a deep lethargic sleep for many centuries, while her body will remain untouchable. Simply put, it will not be possible to kill her in a usual way. Just as you want it, she will be safe. Now I will have enough time to find a cure for her disease. Do you regret disobeying Cassandra? Helma, she asked me to kill her. How could I? She just wanted to protect the world from her disease. So Cassandra was sick. It does not matter anymore. It's a done deal. Helma, take this coin. It can open the crypt so that you can look after Cassandra while I'm away. You are the only one I can trust. Oh, I hope this deception will not destroy us in the future. Hexagon ran out of ashes. Apparently, I automatically returned to the present.
so. Maybe somewhere in this trash I'll find the key to the hut. It's worth looking. It seems that no one has lived in this house for a long, long time. Bingo! I did it! Now I need to try to talk to the witch.
do you want? Hello, I'm Susan. So what? I need to talk to you about Marin. I have no idea what you are talking about. Just go away. Susan! Thanks, Montgore. You're back. What did you find out? Oh, I don't know where to start. It turns out that Cassandra was Marin's teacher, and it was her who taught him the art of magic. You mean Cassandra was a kind person before? What happened so that she has become such an angry witch? She suffered from some disease. I don't know the details, but the disease made rapid progress. Then, it seems that Cassandra told Marin to kill her, so that the infection would not spread all over her body and turn her into something... evil. But he deceived his teacher, and with good intentions gave her not a deadly poison, but a potion that casted Cassandra into a lethargic sleep and kept her body untouchable. Marin wanted to gain some time to find a cure for her disease in that way. That settles it. He didn't find the medicine, and Cassandra eventually turned evil. That's why he regrets not following her will back then. I think Marin wanted to go back in time and kill Cassandra. Maybe I could do this instead of him. What? Will you really go there? Yes. There's no other way. I'll ask a Swamp Witch for help. I just need some evidence to prove I've been sent by Marin. Check his chest. Maybe you'll find something. Here. I just found a key that opens it. Have a look. This is one of Maran's old diaries. Excellent. I think this should make Helma believe me. Do I have to say? The door is closed for all visitors. Is it you again? Please listen. Marin sent me here. It's very important. Here's Marin's diary. He gave it to me. Give me the diary. I can smell Marin. And I can recognize his handwriting. Well, come in. I'm listening, stranger. My name is Susan. I was sent by Marin from the future. I know it's hard to believe, but you have to try. Well, what is it? 
I have to kill Cassandra. Marin will never find a cure for her disease, and she will eventually turn into an absolute evil and break out of her crypt. Say I believe you. So what do you want from me? You were able to protect Cassandra's body from destruction. This means you can also remove the barrier. <sighs> it's not all that simple, sweet, young thing. It's not enough just to kill Cassandra. You need to kill the infection in her. Well, your eyes are not lying, so I will help you. Go to the ruins of Logan and find the Sword of Justice there. That is a special sword, tempered by arachnoid's blood. We'll sprinkle it with destructive potion, and you'll pierce Cassandra's heart with a blade. Where do I begin? Bring me everything I need for a potion, and then I'll tell you how to get to the ruins of Logan. This is the Keeper of Fire. This may be useful on the way. Just mark any spot with a brush to set it on fire. To make a potion, you need to boil fresh water. I usually take it straight from the swamp.
collect all the ingredients on the list. Wait, the water is dirty. Use a gauze to drain it. Fine. Now the potion needs some time to cook. Meanwhile, you go and get the blade. Use the portal on the swamp. Here's a stone disc to set up the portal.
This is the place depicted on the picture. The stone head is in its place. I need to look under it. Now it's clear whose head it was at the entrance to the ruins. Judging from the picture, the master blacksmith should have two hammers, and the blade he forges should be hardened by... I hope I'll find the hammers for the master blacksmith somewhere here.
Here you are. Did you find the Sword of Justice? Yes, it was not easy and... Excellent. Now dip the blade into the pot, but do not touch it. I see. Helma, what's next? I'll just pierce Cassandra's heart and that's it? Do I need something else? No way! Don't even try anything else. If you really came here from the future, then you should know that whatever you do here may have serious consequences there. Here is the coin Marin gave me. You will open the crypt with this coin. Well, goodbye then. Thank you for trusting me. From the very beginning, I knew Maron did wrong. That it was a bad idea to disobey Cassandra. May Mount Gore keep you safe. And remember, whatever you do here may have serious consequences there. What have you done? Oh, please. No. Who are you? Stay put! Come on, pour out! I've remembered your face. I will find you. And I will kill you! Doesn't this place look like it should? Where's the entrance to the lab? Where's Fiora? What did I do wrong? What kind of lock is that? It wasn't here before. And where is the witch's swamp? Marengard. Is the city named in Marin's honor?
Hey! Psst! Come here! I have something to tell you! Madame, Lord's guards will not let you into the city. If you want to get in through the secret passage, I can show it to you in exchange for a valuable donation. <laughs> oh, thank you, madam. The secret route is, is directly under me. <laughs> Just in case you don't know me and I don't know you. <laughs> Ugh, it stinks here, but we need to. Excellent. Water is receding into the ground. Now I can cross to the opposite side. I am telling you, that's the girl from the poster. Hey, you! Stop! We won't hurt you.
Oh, my head. Where? Are you awake? Finally. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for you. Fortunately, I knew you'd show up here almost five centuries after that day. Do you know who told me that? Helma. I got a confession out of her. By force. Did you kill her? She was your companion. I let her live for the fact that she confessed everything. But you turned out to be more bloodthirsty. You murdered my teacher. Marin, it was a necessary measure. If I didn't do it... Do you know my name? Admittedly, every dog in this rotten world knows me. But who are you? What made you commit this crime? Don't you remember me? I'm Susan. Don't you remember how we defeated the Black Riders together? What about Harpy kidnapping your great-granddaughter, Fiora, and you sending me to find her? You are talking nonsense, you fool! What Riders? What great-granddaughter? I have never even had children. That's it. I'm tired of you. You will stay here until I figure out your punishment. By the way, I'm curious about this thing here. Can you tell me what it is, and how it works? Fine. I will figure it out anyway. Keep an eye on her, or you'll pay for it with your head. Yes, my lord. You must block the door with a big piece of wood. Hurry! I'll hold the door. Good! And now, look into the backpack next to me. You'll find the escape plan there. Guards keep personal belongings of prisoners in that room. That's where my backpack is. Now I need to find the key to this box.
Well, now it's time to get out. Just do not jump. It's better to throw down a rope or a chain. Everyone okay? I understand that you have a lot of questions, but let us reach our hideout first. Our leader is waiting to meet you. We have to go into that barred passage there. Oh no, I think I lost the button from this passage. What an idiot! Maybe it's in the boat. Oh, this is the entry stamp from the secret pass. door is yours. There you'll find our leader. We call her the Prophetess. Well, I will see you again. Afraid. Come closer. First of all, complete the following phrase. Any move you make here. What? Oh, and, um, can have a large impact there. Yes, that's right. So, you are the one. Hello, Susan. I am Mira. Welcome to the hideout of the Rebels. Are you the leader? But you're a child. It doesn't matter what I look like. The knowledge that I possess is what's important. How did you find me? How did you know where and when I would show up? Helma, 
She left memoirs after her death that were secretly passed down from generation to generation until they reached me. She warned us that you will need help because Lord Marin will seek your death. And so that night we heard a rumor that the very woman from the poster was seen at the gates of Marengard. We immediately began our search efforts for you. Why has Marin become like this? After all, he used to be good before. What did I do wrong? You shouldn't have killed Cassandra. But... Marin should have been the one to do it. You need to go back in time to that fateful night and convince the young Marin to do it. I can't. The current Marin took my hexagon. And besides, I need the ashes of a rational being to fuel it. Ashes can be obtained in the city crematorium. It is above our barracks, but getting the hexagon will be more difficult. We need time to develop a plan. We already allocated a private place for you in the barracks, in case you want to rest. Thank you, but I think now is not the time to rest.
Crematorium is above this place. I believe I can get to it through this hatch. Let's roll. Here's the crematorium. Now I need to find the ashes.
Let's get to work. Did you manage to obtain the ashes? Yes, I have it. Now I need the hexagon. What's our next move? We have developed a plan to infiltrate Lord Maron's castle and subsequently steal the hexagon. I suggest walking over to the board with the plan. Marin knows your face. And besides that, there are posters hanging throughout the country. According to our plan, the three of you will act as peasant merchants. Peasant. At the same warehouse, you may have noticed a hat. Looking ahead, I will say that our goal is not just to steal the hat. There's an abandoned Undertaker's card by the old crypt, and a buffer. After passing the central square of the castle, we have learned that the Lord expelled his previous cook, and the arrival of the new one. The poison dish must be served in the throne room. And if at this point you are... All this time, the boys will be waiting for you in the... Of course, this is a rough plan. We can't guarantee anything. Most likely, you will have to proceed according to circumstances. Well, this won't be the first time. Unbelievable! My face has changed. Remember that the effect is temporary. Now, go and change your clothes. Here is the key to the cabinet.
Hopefully, I won't be so easy to recognize now. What are you carrying? Products for the royal household. A pass is required. Everything is fine. Let them in! Susan, we will wait for you in the carriage. Your way lays through the right gate. You the new cook. Go through the side door. Here's the kitchen. Now I need to find out what's on tonight's menu for Marin. I look like a cook. I see. Mushroom soup was requested for tonight. I need to find the recipe for this soup.
Ah, you're the new cook. You will obey me. I am the counselor to the royal household. None of the servants can speak directly to the Lord. That's what I am here for. Soon Lord Meran will wish to feast, so you have to prepare everything to the highest standard. That's the only way I work, my lord. Silence! You will only speak when I ask you a question. Understood? Yes, my lord. So, in the castle's hall, in case you haven't noticed, there is an orders table. There you will find the menu for tonight. After you prepare the right meal, it must be served on a special trolley. You will find it in the kitchen. It should have everything that's necessary to lay the table. A tablecloth, cutlery, utensils, napkins, and why? Any questions? What do I do after I prepare the food? You bring it on the trolley here and lay the table. Then you have to attach a meal invitation notice to the rope and send it up. It will get into the Lord's chamber and inform him that it's meal time. Understood? Yes, Counselor. Now get busy! Cook! I have to go out on an errand. Make sure not to poison our Lord. I can prepare the mushroom soup here. The key is to follow the recipe.
bastard escaped from prison. I will find her anyway. Marin's bedroom. Surely the hexagon is stored somewhere here. the bird. Impressive. It's you! You thought you could get the better of me? I'll kill you! Ouch. 
Well, that was hard. I hope Corco and Obian are all right. Now it's time for me to go back to the past. So, the crypt's door is already closed, and the gate is open. This means that Marin has already left for the swamp. I need to hurry. Oh no! Marin is about to get away through the portal! What? And who could that be? Oh no, what have I done? Because of me, Marin fainted. I have to bring him back to his senses somehow.
Marin, are you okay? Who are you? What, what, what happened? I accidentally knocked you down, and you lost consciousness. What do you want from me? My name is Susan. You may not believe me, but I've come to you from the future. You personally sent me here. What? No, this sounds like nonsense. Listen, I came to tell you that you must do what Cassandra asked you for. How do you know? I know everything. I'm telling you, it's you who sent me here from the future. Marin, even in five centuries, you still won't be able to create the medicine. And Cassandra... <sighs> I wish you could just look into my memories. Well, actually, I can. What? <laughs> Cassandra taught me many skills. Looking into memories was one of them. Well, are you convinced? Yes. Now I believe you. Even though it is difficult to accept. Marin, my time is running out. I can disappear at any moment, but I need to make sure that you do it. I have to see it with my own eyes. Make the move. All right. What do I need to do? First, you should sprinkle the Sword of Justice with this destructive potion. And then, then stab Cassandra's heart with the sword. Marin, you have to do this. Sorry, Cassandra. There's no other way. It's so beautiful here. Is this the same place? I hope this time I did everything right. This is Cassandra's tomb. That means that Marin buried her properly. Susan? Is that you? Hey, it seems to be yours, Marin. Thank you for everything you've done for me. What exactly are you talking about? <laughs> All of our actions determine our future. Sooner or later, we are responsible for the mistakes of our past.